man, it's finally hitting me. Oh, hang on. It's morning already? Oh, no wonder I feel so beat. Well, look who the cat dragged in. So, how'd it go? Who was the monarch? Was it really a local? Find anything on Medis? Zen... Zenkichi... We can tell you later. But now... I must sleep... Oh! Uh, looks like you guys had a real time in there. Wait here. I'll check out the route to the RV. Ah, uh, you guys already pulled your weight. And then some. At least let me help out now. Now that I think about it, we just took a boat trip, went swimming, cooked a whole feast, and then dove straight into a jail. No wonder even I'm bushed. At least the first half was a lot of fun. Not only that, we learned quite a bit from the jail. That voice, though, who do you think that was? All I know is there a real asshole copying Sophia's voice and everything. Hmm. Oh, Zenkichi is calling. You're all clear to come back to the RV. I haven't seen a single local so far. I can't tell if you guys really pulled it off or not, but at least the coast is clear. Thank goodness. Let's go. Slept like a comatose rock. Man, nothing in that jail was making sense to me. That reminds me, why did the desire manifest in the jail in the first place? Oh yeah, we never sent a calling card. That's right. Based on what we heard from the tapes. The director was told by the perpetrator that he was going to seize his desire. That must have fulfilled the role of calling card in this case. Yo, get some rest. How are the locals behaving? No worries. Seems like they all came to their senses. It's nothing but good times here again. Although, they all seem to have some pretty bad memory loss regarding the last few months. So, if we didn't find a monarch here, why'd the locals treat the lab like that? Why'd they attack us? The lab's experiments might have something to do with that. Oh yeah, speaking of the Monarch, a body surfaced fitting his description. I stumbled across it myself, down at the base of a cliff near the lab. Name, Shuzo Ubukata, some sort of big shot AI researcher and director of the lab. Obviously an autopsy will be done, but based on what you reported, it's most likely gonna turn out suicide. That can't be. Another life ruined by whoever's masterminded this whole thing. Taking a dive to avoid jail experimentation? <sighs> Makes the most sense to me. Quite some time's passed since his death, but he still had some personal effects on him. I'll make sure they go with him when the coroner... Dude, uh... Hmm? Gramps, you're... You're being pretty chill about all this heavy shit. Oh, uh, good point. Well, it is my line of work and all. Anyway... I found the key to the facility on him. We can get inside now. But are you sure it's all right to do so? You're the one who pointed out how any illegally obtained evidence is useless in court. Not anymore. Now that a body's turned up, that facility is prime investigation territory. No problem at all going in there. The problem now is there's a chance nothing's left. Huh? Why's that? The locals told me about a bunch of trucks going up to the lab and out of there a while. It's pretty likely the scene's been wiped clean. We still ought to take a look for ourselves. There's always the possibility that something was left behind. Yeah, let's bust this mastermind's ass! Pretty chill, huh? Wonder when that happened. I mean, literally nothing. It's like this place didn't know shit about jails. All I've found are very roundabout reports. We may have been too late coming here. I know it's a little late to ask, but aren't people supposed to preserve crime scenes? 
We just so happened to find out it was a crime scene after poking around. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aha! I've scored the treasure! There was a USB drive in the director's office! Hell yeah, Futaba! Nice find! I can't believe something like that got left behind! Me too! That sounds like the first kind of thing they'd want to get rid of. Ah, but it very well could be the most important evidence. It was hidden in the director's desk drawer. You really did find the treasure here. Well done. Yep, except it was actually Sophia's idea to look there. I searched the internet for the top 10 places people hide things in the workplace. Hey, Morgana, Sophia's got you beat. This isn't a contest. Well, let's see what you found. You in yet, Sakura? Just a sec. It's password protected. But nothing the mighty Oracle can handle. Well, there it is. This is a list of some sort. Apparently, this drive holds nothing but people's names. Is it a list of the people working here? No. These names. These are famous or otherwise powerful people in all sorts of industries. Rich and famous people? Is it like a list of sponsors? Hmm. I could have sworn I've seen all these names recently. Let's see. Yoshikawa, he confessed to document tampering a few weeks ago. Now that you mention it, this one's the Sapporo Central Councilman who confessed to bribery last month. Wait, you mean the person who had his heart changed by Mari-san? That means this list is... That's it. This is a list of people whose hearts the Mastermind wanted changed. But why so many powerful figures? What exactly is being accomplished here? That's still a mystery. I'm gonna need that USB drive for a while. How do you intend to make use of it? I'm gonna snoop around the whole roster, from the bottom of the ladder on up. So, whoever would benefit most from all those people getting their hearts changed? You think that'll be the culprit? Bingo. It'll take time, but I swear I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. That kind of swearing may be good and all, but you should probably go home to Akane every so often, too. Uh, I was gonna. At any rate, you've helped us a great deal by now. We got to crash at his place, and he kept us from getting ambushed. Nice work, Senkichi. Seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a fan and thief now? <laughs> Why would I want to go from public security to national fugitive? Anyway, I'm heading back to HQ. What are you kids gonna do? There really isn't anything we can do until Zenkichi identifies the mastermind. Uh, should we go back with him to Kyoto for now? Do we really have to? That boat made me so sick last time. Then why not go to Kyushu instead? Our boat trip won't be too long if we do that. We could even scout the area for jails. Indeed, we cannot sample their specialty ramen soon enough. We must remember to try the stewed organ hot pot as well. Seriously, man. What is it with you and hot pot? Off to Kyushu, huh? Sounds good. I'll keep after whoever's at the bottom of these cases. The moment I find out, you'll know. I have consulted the ferry departure timetable. We will be able to leave immediately, if we hustle. Well, time to roll out. Let's pack up and head for the docks. Hey, hey! Have a moment. My next motif should be... Yes. It's 
Speaking of which... Let's go. Got it. All right, we can get out of here. And then... Interesting. like a tree. Just boarded the ferry back to the main. I'll lose signal soon, so this will have to be brief. Well done. I've read reports from the local precinct. So there's now a body in play, is there? And what of the research facility? While there, I found a list of individuals who are believed to be victims of changes of heart. And why is that? Explain. Of course. Not only was the document tampering vice minister on there, but both of the Sapporo Central Councilmen, too. So their hearts were changed by Medes. Most likely. At the very least, Medis is benefiting from whoever has the power to change hearts. If we keep digging into the people from the list and their connections to Medis, the mystery ought to solve itself. I'll bring everything I have to HQ once I'm ashore. I also plan to send it all to the local precinct back on the island. Well done, Hasegawa. You've brought us that much closer to solving this case. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> it sure is a good thing we didn't bust the Phantom Thieves. Thanks to their help, we might actually be able to blow this case wide open. You seem pleased. Oh, well, it's just that... Leave it. From now on, be ready for things to swing into high gear at a moment's notice. And keep your eyes open. At this point, there's no telling between friend and foe. 
I understand. I'll report when I've arrived. <sighs> I wonder how Zenkichi's investigation is going. He did say he'd contact us once he figured something out, but it's never easy to wait. All we can do right now is put our faith in him. He's the only one who can get the job done. Guess we ended up relying on him a lot, huh? All of us wish to uncover the truth behind this case. In this, our goals are aligned. That's right. And as long as we stay on the lookout for jails, we'll be doing our part. That said, we'll arrive in Fukuoka pretty soon. Sophia, you sense anything? Hmm. Nothing unusual detected. Not even what I felt in Okinawa. So Fukuoka doesn't have a jail then? Strange. The kata is quite populated, so I figured we would find at least one. Yeah, if only we could fast travel in reality. That'd speed up our search. Less jails means less trouble, though. Good point. Maybe we should just check Fukuoka off and move on. <laughs> Ow. Oh, what's wrong, Makoto? Oh, it's nothing. Just my lower back aching a little from the drive. Attention! We have an emergency! Get this woman to sick bay ASAP! Mako-chan, you're not hurt, are you? Is it because we made you do all the driving? Well, I was aiming for a straight shot's Kyushu. But I never planned on this. Agreed. I think we could all use a break right about now. Let's stop here. I think we need more than just a break. We need rest. It's important to let yourself fully recover. Precisely. Straining yourself will only lead to injury. Let us stay in Fukuoka for the night. Then it's decided. I'll pull off the highway. Nostalgia? But this is our first time here. So this is Hakata Station, the gateway to Fukuoka. Huh. So, like, if we're in Fukuoka, and this is the main station, shouldn't they call it Fukuoka Station? Trivia. Interestingly enough, there is a Fukuoka Station located in Toyama Prefecture to the north. Oh, really? All the way up there? Then does that mean there's a Toyama Station here in Fukuoka? I don't think they'd switch things up on purpose. Anyway, I understand this place is Fukuoka's central activity hub. That would be wise. We should find a place to stay so Mako-chan can recover. Sorry. Thanks for understanding, though. Don't sweat it. First we grub down, then we hit the hay. You'll be good in no time. There you have it. Sophia, you know the drill. Based on data from previous drills, I found us an appropriate hotel in addition to a restaurant nearby. Wow, Sophia, you work fast. Okay, everyone, it's time for some R&R. &R. Oh, man. Oh, how have I been alive this long without Hakata Tokotsu? I'm awed by the soup's creamy golden hue. It's met with dots of green onion and dashes of red ginger. These three colors combine to form an exquisite harmony in my bowl. I dare not take another sip, lest this masterpiece be ruined. Uh, your, uh, masterpiece is gonna get cold. Oh, I gotta say, these food stalls have their charm. Even I feel right at home here. Hey, let me have a little taste. Could you, uh, blow on it? The feline tongue is sensitive. So you finally admit you're a cat. <laughs> Over ramen? Here, Makoto, have some of my chashu pork. They say it'll boost your energy. Ooh, take mine too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. How's your lower back doing, Mako-chan? Better, after a nice hot bath. That always seems to do the trick. That 
being said, I probably shouldn't be on the road tomorrow, if only to avoid causing an accident. All right, then we'll take the day off. Guess we should hit up Gramps and let him know we're staying another night. Then let's find Makoto a massage place for tomorrow. I say the girl deserves it. Got it. I'll locate the best venue there is. Yeah, I gotta say, though, it is kind of rough having only one driver. We ought to get our licenses soon. I believe Haru has one already. Uh, that is true. Though I am pretty lacking in experience. But don't you worry, Mako-chan. If for any reason you're not up to it, I'll take the wheel. Uh, oh, uh, well, as much as I appreciate that... Is something wrong, Makoto? You don't look so well. Uh, no, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> oh crap, we better dig in before the noodles get soggy. Oh, damn, I'm stuffed. Oh, now I can die happy. I suppose I should also throw in the towel. Not a drop of soup remains. I can't believe you guys got seven noodle refills. You'd think this was a ramen buffet. Well, I see you boys had quite the meal. I should mention, customers who order over five sets of noodles get a free souvenir bowl. For real? Oh, thanks for the hookup, Pops. Oh, this should serve as good decor. Surely it will brighten up our vehicle's interior. Senkichi's on the line. Hey, where are you guys? All right. Sounds like you're going at a decent pace then. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know I think I found our guy. I'll give you more details in person. Saves us time and energy. Sorry it's so sudden, but how soon do you think you can be at Kyoto? Oh, Nijima's down for the count, huh? Damn. Of all the rotten luck. Then what about a bullet train? Or wait, can't you ask Okumura? Doesn't she have a license? All she'd have to do is take the Sanyoto from Fukuoka to Kyoto. Not a tough drive by any means. I hate to lay the pressure on, but we don't have much time. A lot rides on this. Wait, so he knows who the mastermind is? Finally, we get to bust this effing punk! Then let's leave tomorrow morning. Being tired is no excuse to delay our mission. As true as that is, be careful not to hurt yourself, Makoto. Hell yeah! Kyoto from here. Roughly eight hours by highway. And we'll most likely make it by sundown. Bathroom breaks done? Seats? Comfy. Snacks? Ready for consumption! Are you okay to drive, Mako-chan? Honestly, I'm not at 100%, but I don't want to let you guys down. I see. <sighs> yourself. Hmm. Makoto is looking paler than ever now. <sighs> you don't gotta be nervous. Just take it nice and slow. <laughs> Haru? <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. In fact, I have a special technique that'll make your head spin. Uh, is she okay? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Um, so I've never really told you guys this, but the moment Haru's hands touch the wheel... Get ready to shift into overdrive! They're not here yet, huh? Guess I'm a little early. Well, maybe I'll just keep working on the... What the hell? Whoa, 
speak of the devil. Uh, well, you guys got here quick. I thought we were gonna die. I think we already did. My soul's barely tethered to my body. Ugh, gonna puke. Okay. My apologies, Haru Butai. Request you steer clear of the driver's seat from now on. I only have so many lives left. Meow. Meow is unconscious. Wake him up. Hey, Okumura. What happened? Um, I was just driving normally. I think. <sighs> oh, the room finally stopped spinning. You have a very, uh, unique way of driving, Haru. Why, thank you, Mona-chan. She really shouldn't take it as a compliment. Regardless, I'm glad you guys made it here in one piece. By the way, what is this place? It seems unfit for a typical gathering of law enforcement. You could call it my secret base, I guess. Basically, it's a place to hold up if shit ever goes south. A good friend of mine used to run it. But now, it's just an empty old bar, suitable for investigating far away from any prying eyes. So this is like your hideout? More like a safe room. No, a safe house. Those newspapers, are they not from two years prior? Those newspapers are irrelevant. We have other business to discuss here. Then let's hear it, Zenkichi. All right. Let me break it down for you bit by bit. I cross-referenced every name on the list we found in Okinawa. Based on our assumption that the Mastermind would stand to benefit from changing hearts en masse, this is who we ended up with. Yeah, he sure looks like a skinny bastard. Don't I know it. To think he'd turn up now of all times. No, not in particular. Uh, anyway, the man's name is Jun Owada. At 69 years old, he's on his 10th term as a legislator. Not only that, but he worked his way up to chief cabinet secretary of the ruling party. In short, he's not someone to mess with. They say he was a Masayu Shishido supporter during the election last year. Did you say Shido? Unbelievable. I never thought I'd hear his name again. Do you know him? Hell of an evil asshole. Oh, I didn't know. Sounds like you and Shido had quite the history. But we're not after him right now. That list contained a handful of Awada's political opponents. People he'd rather not have around. So it's clear he's behind all this. However, I highly doubt he's doing his own dirty work. He'd have a heck of a time getting his political opponents to friend him on Emma. After checking his inner circle for sympathizers, I found out he's been meeting with a certain entrepreneur quite often, too. Nice guess. It's the CEO of Medis, all right. Akira Kanoe. Uh, isn't the CEO of Medis the guy we heard speak back in Sendai? I came across communication records between him and the director at Okinawa, and it showed they kept in contact. Then the pieces all fit. Yeah. Whenever Owada wants someone out of his way, he calls on Kanoe to take action. And the director at Okinawa was likely the one who arranged this. Now, it's too late to tell. Hold on. If Kanoe's the one changing hearts, does that make him a monarch too? But he's the CEO of Medis. Wouldn't he get one of his subordinates to do the job for him? I suppose it would be natural to assume that. But as you all know, in order to change someone's heart, you need to be their friend on Emma. Everyone Owada associates with is a big-time elite. And Kanoe's the only one in their league. Besides, he's the head of a huge company. If anything, I think he'd want to be a monarch as well. He wouldn't want to risk his heart getting changed by someone else either. Another thing, the people on that list most likely had their hearts changed in Osaka. Huh? Why do you say that? Everyone on that list who went crazy had all traveled to Osaka at some point. That's also where Medisa's main office is. Meaning there's a good chance we'll find a jail in Osaka with Konoe as its monarch. Though, the only way we'll know for sure is if Sophia senses it. I did sense a jail. Huh? Oh, right! We did pass through Osaka when I took a wrong turn. Sophia, you should have spoken up! I did speak up, but you guys were too busy to listen. Uh, if it was when Haru was driving, 
Then they were likely too busy screaming for our lives. Hmm? Well, that certainly makes things easier. So it's confirmed as a jail in Osaka. Now we just need to determine whether Konoe is the monarch or not. Wait, if you know that much already, why not cuff his ass right now? Right. Now here's the issue. That list only spells out his motives and connections. It isn't solid proof that he's been changing hearts. We can't arrest him on speculation alone. The most we can do is conduct a search. And that's only with his consent. Hell, he could pack up and run if he wanted to. We don't have any legal authority over him. Another thing I noticed is how many high-ranking members of the force were on that list. You think he's changed their hearts too? To get the police in his pocket? Yeah, and from the look of it, not just the rank and file either. So that's why you called us here. Because you don't know who the real enemies are. <sighs> Most I can do without being traced is some light investigation. And even then, that might be impossible. If it's the top brass we're dealing with, they might just leak the info and take action before I can lift a finger. In other words, the police are not our allies. <laughs> what else is new? <sighs> you do realize I'm also a man in uniform? Anyway, it's obvious that going about this the regular way is out of the question. What we need is something a bit more uncanny. Something only you guys are capable of. Right. If Konoe really is a monarch, we can corner him into a confession. That's right. We completely overlooked the fact that Konoe has a jail. But won't we need a keyword to gain access? Precisely why I had you rush over here. I'll be meeting Kanoe at Medisa's corporate headquarters today. Really? How'd you manage that? By going about it like a cop. Told them we had intel about a possible security leak involving their software. We received information about a possible party attempting to hack Emma. So on and so forth. Ooh, does somebody need a hacker? Not even that. I only said it to score me an appointment. At the end of it, I'll suggest he add me on Emma so I can answer any further questions. And we'll have ourselves a keyword. In his mind, I'll be just another pawn for the taking. So I'm pretty sure he'll take the bait. The moment I get the keyword, if I get the keyword, I'll send it right over. That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Hope it was worth the drive. Wait, if you're gonna hit up their office, that means you're going to Osaka, right? Let us come with. The sooner we enter the jail, the sooner we can finish this operation. Fair, but there's a chance I might not get the keyword. Tagging along for nothing would be a wasted effort. Besides, doesn't Nijima need a breather? In fact, you all look like you need one. Can't really argue with that. Bottom line is, if you guys go down, so does everything I've worked for. So I need you fighting at your best. Got it. So our job's to wait until further contact. What the hell? I, now we gotta wait even more? Oh, you really want to complain? Right when I'm about to tell you the big surprise I have in store for you? What big surprise? Is the spot Gramps got us? Am, am I losing my mind? No way! We really get to stay here? L it looks like it costs a fortune. This is one of Kyoto's fanciest hot spring hotels. A single night averages 40,000 yen per person. 40,000 yen? To be met with such extravagance after our harrowing journey. I am unsure how to process it. He did say he could expense it, but is he sure about that? You said it! Oh, time for a nice hot soak! Oh, I really owe Zenkichi a great big thank you. Okay, guys. Let's get in there. Dang, I don't want to end up breaking something. <laughs> First time I've seen Inari cry over something other than food. What do you think, Mako-chan? Doesn't this seem like a great place to relax? It sure does. I saw a pamphlet mentioning how the hot springs here have a variety of natural health benefits as well. Then let's jump in already. Come on, come on! I'd like to jump in this time. Hey, guide me through the water like you did in Okinawa. Why? Did I suggest something wrong? 
there's a lot that's wrong. If you're gonna go at all, go with me. Are we even allowed to have phones in the bath? There was, in fact, a sign that forbids bringing cell phones inside the bathing area. No fair. But rules are rules. I guess I'll just wait here. There's always the bath in our room, Sophia. Once we're done, I'd be happy to take you in. Hooray! I'd like that, Haru. Why don't you join them, Yalgana? There's a shower for pets, too. I'm not a pet! But I won't let that stop me. After we're done bathing, we can all enjoy some traditional Kyoto cuisine. According to the website, dinner is as follows. Crab, shabu-shabu, heirloom vegetables, and rice soup. A veritable feast. First he cries, then he drools. You're a real leaky guy, Inari. Hey there, sorry to bother you. I had an appointment with Mr. Kunoe. I do apologize, but Mr. Kanoe is currently out on urgent business. Urgent business? Unfortunately, I don't have any more details. Please come back another day. Excuse me, but I was specifically told I could meet him here at this time? I'm sure, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but you'll have to come back again. What's going on here? You called, sir? Ah, Commissioner. Right on time. There's a favor I'd like to ask you. And he is? <sighs> Why, this is Mr. Owada. I'm sure you've heard much about him. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Owada. Pleasure's all mine, Commissioner Kaburagi. I've heard much about you myself. He tells me you do... Marvelous job. Hmm. Now, I hear you're after the Phantom Thieves. Apparently, they're the culprits behind the change of heart epidemic we keep hearing so much about. But we still lack concrete proof of that, actually. I'm sure you do. But my source just provided me some info that could turn this case on its head. Recently, these Phantom Thieves tried hacking one of the biggest virtual assistant programs this nation ever produced. They tried hacking Emma? That's the one. Now they're looking to steal people's information, and not for conventional reasons. First, they get all the dirt on you. Then they make you confess whatever they feel is convenient for them. That's what this epidemic is. <sighs> Have you know I take my position very seriously. The future of our great country is at stake, and I'll be damned if I let some two-bit terrorists run around thinking they're the ones in control. They must be arrested immediately, for my own peace of mind and that of the people. Commissioner General, what is this really about? Our legislators have decided that the Phantom Thieves can no longer run around unchecked. And we, as protectors of the law, simply wish to do what's right and assist them. There's also the matter of the next election, which I do hope to take part in. I'm sure you'll catch my drift. <laughs> You'd like some achievements under your belt. That's being very blunt about it. <laughs> but yes, as a matter of fact, I would. So am I to understand you want the Phantom Thieves arrested and the epidemic ended without any proof? You're also to understand that coming up with proof is part of your job. Hmm. I've already discussed this with Mr. Konoe, the CEO of Modis. If anyone has the right to help us in this matter, it's him. You may not like to hear this, but it's too soon. What we call a change of heart epidemic, the public calls justice. They believe the Phantom Thieves are exposing society's evils. Suddenly apprehending them would only cause backlash. We should at least investigate whether they are really blackmailing him. They'll be charged with murder. <sighs> a body was found in Okinawa at a research center for artificial intelligence. The victim was leading Emma's development. Once the Phantom Thieves discovered how to penetrate the system, they murdered the poor man. <sighs> now, do you 
understand. Our country is in the midst of a burgeoning crisis. Huh. There's something in it for you, too. How'd you like to call yourself Senior Commissioner? I'm sorry? You'll be on top of the entire force. I'm sure you won't be found wanting. The offer's on the table because we know you'd be right for the job. Hmm. Then I'll make it happen. If you two are giving the orders, then there's nothing more to question. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd make the wise enjoy. Oh, the rumors were true. You really do show discretion. Perhaps you could reach Commissioner General someday. And on your merit at that. Sure you do just fine. Thank you for the vote of confidence. If that is all, please let me assure you, the task is in capable hands. <sighs> in the end, we're nothing but obedient dogs, barking only at those we've been ordered. is indeed divine. We must absorb all the healing energy we can. You know, I hope Gramps is alright. The man is more dependable than he seems. I'm willing to take him at his word. We may not be waiting long. Once he gets Kanoe's keyword, we spring into action. So we're ready at a moment's notice. Ah, that's the spirit. I knew I could count on you. Mixed bat? Maybe that's why it's so empty. It switches every so often. After 8 o'clock, it's women only. The doors on the men's side should have automatically closed. Then I guess it's all ours. Sweet! I'm gonna boil myself like an egg! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Why the hell are they here? We must have entered right when the time allotment switched. No, it's too late. They're already here. Calm down, boneheads! Our honor is at stake here. As noble thieves, as gentlemen. We need to vanish without a trace. Failing means certain death. Joker, let's begin the operation. Mm, oh, the water feels so good. <sighs> I could stay here forever. I think I'm gonna melt. What was that just now? Is somebody here? <laughs> Were you peeping? Explain yourselves this instant. <sighs> yeah, you perms! Double, no, quadruple perms! What you, it, it ain't what you think! See, the, the bath time changed right after we got in. Clearly, this is all just a misunderstanding. Oh, believe us, Lady On. We were locked in at the very last moment. Right? No excuses. Yep, we're in heaven, all right. 